Good. What's that? What would you call the exterior of the uh, bread? The crust. Crust. I want a good <laughs> crust. Hello and welcome to another video. What are we doing today, Carly? We're making aesthetic sandwiches. That's right, aesthetic sandwiches or Japanese sandos. You've probably seen some of these floating around on the internet here and there. Most famously, the strawberry and cream sandwich, which is very pretty and I want to eat it. Oh yeah. So we decided to make some. Now, besides the fact that these sandwiches are very pleasing to the eye, the thing that seems to set them apart is the bread, which is called shokupan or milk bread. And as you can see here, we have plenty of loaves that we sourced from Tyler's cousin to get us started on our journey. Thank you, Yaya. Thank you, Yaya. Cosmo. Cosmo's literally sniffing at it already. He's sure this is his. What a little menace. I know. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Eating everything? <laughs> so today we'll be attempting to make three different aesthetic sandwiches, strawberries and cream, fruit flour, and for a savory twist, an egg sandwich. Because we all know how Sophia feels about eggs. I like them. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so first up, we're gonna be making our strawberry and cream sandwich. I am very excited about this. This thing looks delicious. I am very excited about this. I've wanted to try these for a long time. Yeah. I feel like they're kind of part of that like um, aesthetic, like picnic trend. Right. You know, like you like take a, a small cake and like you have these like wine glasses and then you like scoop the wine glasses in the cake to uh, eat it. Oh yeah. You know, it's like that. And okay, so the vibe of these sandwiches is that you have to build them strategically so that they look cute when you cut them. And our first two sweet sandwiches use a whole lot of whipped cream as a proverbial mortar between the fruit pieces. So we're gonna start off by making a whole bunch of whipped cream. Okay, so I'm gonna open this heavy cream box. Ready? Yep. This is This is a trial. On camera, this is cruel. Th these things have been plaguing me since I was in kindergarten. Oh, <laughs> you say that every time. <laughs> <laughs> I actually hate these things. I should have pre-opened it for you. <laughs> Tyler's deep-seated trauma, opening cartons. <laughs> I was a square opener. I would just try to rip all the way open. So you had it completely open? There are ways you can do it where it still has some structural integrity of a carton. Okay, that's gotta be um, a sign of something. I don't think you I'd know. ever admit that out loud. <laughs> I think it's one of our only bits in one of the other videos. Let's not waste it here. Let's not waste it here. Let's not waste it here. <laughs> it's okay. This will definitely come out after. And then like my goal. So you can bring it back. It's a callback. It's a callback. I would try to get my whole mouth around all four no. corners. No. So I could just. I think that's new information. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just sip it? I, <laughs> doesn't that look so like refreshing to drink it like that? <laughs> You know, like, like a Gatorade, you see someone like and they drink a Gatorade and they have their whole mouth around the whole thing. I was like, oh, that looks so awesome when I was a kid, but my mouth is too small to do it. So I, I was, like... <laughs> no? That's like how babies drink. <laughs> like, yeah. Shot. Okay, so with our heavy cream finally open and in, ooh, yeah. Now we're gonna add three tablespoons of sugar. Yeah, we are. Three tablespoons of sugar in our very well-loved sugar bag. We're working through it. I know. Awesome. And now we're gonna mix this together with our hand mixer until it's nice and fluffy and sustaining peaks. Oh yeah. Keyword peaks. Peaks. Peaking so hard. Peaking so hard. I'm chugging some coffee so I can power up. Smart. Imagine if I took the top off of this and then tried to fit my mouth around the entire opening. <laughs> what a disaster. <laughs> you would look like a deranged kindergartner. <laughs> Well, you remember those juicy juice boxes? You ever drink those growing up? Yeah. Like the, the oh. classic. I used to think that if you lifted the flaps on the side, it enhanced the flavor. What? <laughs> I thought that literally. <laughs> it's like putting your Crocs in sports mode, putting your juicy juice in flavor enhancing mode. Yeah, like the, the pilot wings up. <laughs> I'm seeing some peaks, Ty. Uh, big time. I see some peaks forming. I see some, some cream churning. I'm peeking. Okay, so it's been five minutes, and now that our heavy cream is thickened up. Oh, it's thickened. We can set this aside and move on to prepping our strawberries. Oh, yeah. Ready? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the power. So, what we're looking for here is five generally uniform conical strawberries that will look good sliced in half in our sandwich. This feels like a lot of pressure. That looks like a beautiful one. That's a great one. Not too big. Nice point. Oh. This is a good one. This is, this is a strawberry. All right, let's give them a quick rinse here. Cute, look at them. Slice their heads off and cut them in half. This feels so high stakes. What will this sandwich say about me if it's not aesthetic enough? You know what I'm saying? I would actually say that generally, things being super aesthetic is not a strong point of our content. No. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I'm trying to turn the ship around here. So now we're gonna assemble our strawberry sandwich, which we're gonna do on top of some saran wrap so we can swaddle it tightly once it's built, which means it's time to unleash our beautiful slices of milk bread. Bring them over here. Bring them out, bring them out. These things look delicious. This box smelled bananas. Like, yeah. It, it smelled incredible when we opened it. Mm. Oh yeah. Bags of bread, baby. 
Nope. Bags, bread, Battlestar Galactica. I wasn't sure what it was when I opened it, and then I was delightfully surprised. That it was the bread? Yeah, and then Cosmo ruined every shot. <laughs> Literally, get out. <laughs> it's a bit, Ooh. yeah, it's a good wafter. It does smell good. I know. It has a vague Hawaiian sweet roll smell. All in that arena. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah There's yeah, like yeah. that sweet bread. It's all sweet unbelievable. Sweet bread yeah. smell. And so what we're going to do next is build a layer of whipped cream on one of our slices of bread using our trusty Rosanna Pancino frosting spreader. Oh, a dollop. That looks good. And what we're going for here is aesthetic. What do you think about that? I kind of like some of the like ridges. Maybe a little bit more right there. Right, here we go. But also uniform. Aesthetically uniform. It's definitely higher up on this side so you can just spread it that way. So like flatten it out so it's all even. You guys chill out. No. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're moving it. Ooh! I gotta channel my Philadelphia lineage. Cause of cream cheese? Yeah. Or? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that, I got it. You got it, you got it. Philadelphia I can say lineage, but like your family's <laughs> not from Philadelphia. They kind of are. <laughs> <laughs> you are from Philadelphia. Yes. But rough. your lineage is not from Philadelphia. My lineage is not from Philadelphia, no. They're from Ohio and Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's our first money step. Next, we're gonna arrange our strawberries in an X shape, so when we cut our sandwich diagonally, we're gonna get an aesthetic cross section. I'm gonna go biggest strawberry in the middle. I, I agree. Oh, 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 man. Cute. Okay. I like it. Yeah. We're gonna go this way, ready? Perfect, yes. So next, we're gonna cover our strawberries with our whipped cream and fill in the gaps. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Lay it on me. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, this is harder than it looks. Is it, it is one of those things where like, it doesn't completely stick to the strawberries. They're a bit slippery. Yeah, cause then it's like that Frank, the top layer of the Franken cake all over again, right? Hand massaged. Listen, my, my phalanges, they're available if you need help. Why do they keep your phalanges on that camera? <laughs> <laughs> keep your phalanges to yourself. <laughs> looks pretty good over here. Yeah? I think that's good. It feels like I'm applying like stucco. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. Yeah. That looks tasty. It's an obscene amount of whipped cream. <laughs> My mouth, it's watering. Mine too, actually. My yeah. loins, they're, they're girding. <laughs> it might just be you. All right, so now that the filling is done, we can now close up our sandwich. Yeah. And wrap it up. Close her up. We're also gonna add a notch into the bread so we remember which direction our strawberries are going in so we can cut it the right way. Oh yeah. Is it fun to touch? I mean, I think it's more like the squish out that's very satisfying. Right. You know? And we wanna wrap it pretty nice and tight so there is no berry movement as it cools. Probably get a little tighter if I also flip it, right? Careful, careful. Yeah, that looks taut. Okay, I'm good with that. Yep, looks good. Oh, sh I didn't put a notch in. Oh! Uh, we can, we can, mac we can, math we can do this mathematically. So, uh, do you want me to review the footage? It was like this, I put it on. It went from this <laughs> to this. <laughs> Wow, it really was tumbling. Hold on, pause. That was a crazy move. It's actually that way. It's like this. So we're back to normal. Yes. yes. Seriously? It looks the same. I think it looks right. I think, I think right. that's right. <laughs> so <laughs> we literally did the meme of like the lady with the math around her head. Okay, so we're hoping this is right. We're gonna mark our saran wrap where we think the strawberries are, and then throw this bad boy in the fridge for 20 minutes to cool. Ooh. So it's been more than 20 minutes, so our sandwich is sufficiently chilled. So it's time for us to get it out of the fridge, carefully unwrap it. Perfect technique, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Cut off the crusts. Oh my God, it's cute already. Oh. See, that looks cute. That looks cute. It looks like a little cake. Slice it in half diagonally and take a bite. As long as we've figured out which direction to cut it in. That, that's still a little bit of a mystery. Oh, hold on, watch out. This front strawberry is gonna escape. Let me uh, skewer it for you. Not today. Yeah, go. Oh, I think I'm through. All right, let's see it. As Samuel Jackson once said, hold on to your butts. All right. Okay. Goodbye. Is that Xando? Cute. You were right. That is Cute. the right direction. Cute. Look at that. What are you guys think about that? Cute. Mm -hmm. How about them apples? Pretty good. Oh, look at that thing! <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful! It's kind of like a, a school of fish swimming yeah. in diverging directions. 100%. Yep, you see uh, it. <laughs> I see it. Aesthetic sandwich number one. All right, let's taste it. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. And there's not a lot I can go wrong with here. I know, it's, it's whipped cream and, and bread and right. strawberries. Cheers, bread to bread. Cheers! Mmm. Right, Mm. That's as good as it gets. I feel like I'm on an aesthetic picnic. <laughs> it's very light. The bread is vaguely sweet. Yeah. But it's not really sweet. 
It, it looks like a cake, it feels like a cake, but the bread is more bread than just pure cake. So I think it's not just absurdly sweet. It's kind of got some balance to it. Mm. I mean, it's amazing. Mm. 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 I would say aesthetic sandwich number one, a win. You made it beautiful and the, the flavors are also beautiful in my mouth. All right, that was good. Should we make another one? Oh yeah. So now we're on to aesthetic sandwich number two, which is our fruit flower sandwich. Flower sandwich. Flower power. There you go. This one is similar in that it is still whipped cream and fruit, but it's a little more advanced. We're gonna be arranging the fruit on the sandwich so that when you slice it open, it will hopefully look like a flower. They look really cute. They look, they look really cute. They look really cute. They're adorable. So yes. hopefully we can do it. So first up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep all our fruit here. Yeah. So what we gotta do is peel one mandarin orange, but keep it whole. Oh, that's a good peel. This little cutie. Boom. That was good. You nailed it. That was a good peel. I used to eat a lot of these. I don't know. Yeah, same, but I'm still bad at peeling them. <laughs> well, we've talked about that. That's your like Achilles heel is opening things. And reading. And <laughs> <laughs> so let's move on to the kiwi. Yeah. Which we just watched a quick tutorial on how to cut. So bear with us. This might go medium well. And basically what you have to do is cut off the top and bottom. I don't want any kiwi hecklers criticizing my kiwi -ing. And then peel off the skin, leaving it bald. How do you even do this? Just try very hard. Ooh, wow. Wow, that was very good. You, you little flayer. Look at you. What did you work for Cruella DeVille? <laughs> <laughs> Too dark. <laughs> what is that a reference to? Does she skin things? Is that the, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What does that even mean? <laughs> no, Between being a stylish fashion designer in the 60s, she was also flaying dogs. <laughs> that, that's like, yeah, that's the plot. Yeah. yeah. How do we redeem this character? <laughs> Get her to be played by Emma Stone. When you see, the dogs killed her mom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So naturally, she skinned the lion from the zoo. <laughs> okay, so with that done, what we're gonna do now is cut off the sides to make the leaves of our flower Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. Cool, we got leaves and then trim what's left over to be our stalk. That looks like it could be a stem. Yeah, I think that's good. I think it could work. Let me let, create the image for you. Oh. It's got a lot of the fire flower from Mario vibes to it. I see right? it. You got that classic 16-bit yeah, vibe, right? Great. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a paper mm. towel and we're going to dry out our kiwi because they're a little soppy right now. And then we're gonna start building our sandwich. All right, so let's bring the chopping block back in and let's grab that saran wrap. All right, so we're gonna do a base layer of whipped cream first, very delicately applied. Delicately. Delicately. Sensually. Ooh, yeah. And then place the head of our flour on the upper center part of the bread. There's a lot of uh, it's so big. <laughs> orientational geometry in this. Yeah. Right, it's a lot of like, what direction will you see the sandwich? Then we're gonna make a little platform of whipped cream all right, great. That's yes. a little lump. A little lump, a little cushion. Before laying down our first leaf. All right, ready? And we're gonna place this guy down. Yeah, yeah, face down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That seems decent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Then add another layer of whipped cream before the stem. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, there it is. There it is. Look at that dollop. Because we gotta make sure the stem is centered to the flower head. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Just dropped it. <laughs> like Indiana Jones. <laughs> that is exactly what it's like. There's a lot of tension. It's exactly like that. I think in my hands. My hands are feeling a lot of tension. Then one more dollop. Yeah. This is working for me. Oh yeah, that looks good. <laughs> the mound. And then one more leaf. Boom. Okay, so now I think that we're in that like cracks filling step. The yeah. bordering yeah. of the sando. Yeah. And so we're gonna come in with our other frosting spreader and just kind of lather. Goodbye orange. <laughs> so tall. <laughs> okay, I mean. I think it looks good. <laughs> yeah, how much more should we put on? Uh, not much more. I think you're probably pretty good, Ty. Yeah. Whenever you feel it, be, do it. <laughs> what? So that is our filling, done. And now we're gonna close up our sandwich. Come out, come out, come out. That's pretty good, Tyler. It <laughs> is good. There we go. And wrap it tightly with our saran wrap. No, but you have to imagine though, if you pack this sandwich, or you had this sandwich packed for your lunch in like elementary school and you whip this thing out, everyone would be like, that is awesome. People would go crazy. Yeah, 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 exactly. People would go wild. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People would go feral. <laughs> exactly, right. Oh yeah, you could like trade this for anything at the yeah. lunch table. Okay, it's all in there. You definitely could feel that orange at the top. You can feel it. It's very lumpy. <laughs> so now we're gonna put our sando in the fridge for 20 minutes to let it chill. Okay, so it's been more than 20 minutes. It's time for us to grab our flower fruit sandwich. Slice it up, ready? 
move that crust. Slice it in half and take a bite. Well, eat the whole thing to the face, actually. Eat we the definitely whole thing. shotgun yeah. the last one, so. This seems like a challenging slice. I have to slice this orange in half while maintaining the sanctity of the bread. Do a little saw. You didn't even ask me for the skewer, I just started doing it. All right, I'm gonna move the skewer. Oh, dude, you're nailing it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm gonna split it, guys. Something. Something. Kinda. Something. Something. All right, I see the flour, the bottom. Oh, that side's better. That side's better. That side's better. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You could tell from the bottom that one of the kiwis fell to the side, so one of the leaves just like toppled over. <laughs> but you can see one leaf. Are you going in with a little auxiliary Ready? wipage? Yeah, let me see if I wiped this You're off. You're gonna wipe the kiwi off? Yeah, like this. Okay, there, there, there we go. I mean, I, I think will it looks say, good. The orange looks like a flower. Yes. The orange is doing something for me. We have one leaf. And we kind of have a stem. I like it. And I think that our stock is good. It's gonna taste good either way. Let's see. Okay, let's go in for the taste. The question is, how do we eat it? Well, you can't get both tastes at once, really. But if you go in for the orange, you're gonna wreck the whole thing. Go full orange. Yeah, I think you probably have to eat the entire half of the orange in one bite. <laughs> and then like, yeah. So should we go kiwi first? Sure. All right, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Tangy. A little sour, a little sour. Very fresh tasting though. The kiwi really slaps you. Mm. All right, ready for the orange? You end up with like a ball. It's like a choking <laughs> hazard. How am I supposed to eat this thing? I think just the whole thing. You're going all the face? <laughs> choking. Do you want to remember how big it was? Yeah. <laughs> I think we can do it. Uh, see you on the other side. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I pretty much just ate the orange. Juicy. It is juicy, mm -hmm. it was juicy, yeah. <laughs> Did you eat the whole thing? I thought that's what we were doing. <laughs> I basically only got orange. Oh, you just like squeezed it out like a go-gurt? <laughs> no, I, I tried I tried to take a bite of it with the orange in it, but it, it squeezed itself out. Mm. It is a lot of juice factor. Yeah. It really hits you. I mean, like, let's call it, you know, classic. It's a tang, it's a kick to the face. Orange flavor's good, creamy flavor's good. The milk bread, a little overpowered in that bite because there's so much juice. No, and it's like a full juice. mouth full of juice, mm. but Overall, I think I'm at Customs of Flavor Town. I thought it was gonna be a little bit of a dud, and I, I really enjoyed that. So far, both sandwiches, pretty aesthetic. Oh yeah. Also, good tasting. Very delicious. Yeah. All right, let's go on to our final aesthetic sandwich, the savory one, which is our egg sandwich. So basically, the sando is like an egg salad sandwich with two cutely positioned medium boiled demi eggs in the center, and this recipe starts with us just boiling a bunch of eggs. Ready? Yep. Drop it in. Yeah, that's perfect. Eggs in a hot tub. And what we're gonna do is actually take two out after seven minutes to be medium boiled and leave the rest in there to be hard boiled. We only need one, but just to be safe. <laughs> so now that we have all of our eggs boiled, out of the pot and into our nice ice baths over here. You're doing two at once? Yeah. Oh, you saucy minx. Beautiful. Hello, little egg. I love eggs. Boom. All right, now it's time to make our egg salad sandwich filling, otherwise known as egg salad. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so we're gonna take our hard boiled eggs, peel them. Oh, don't look now. Oh. Oh. And then once they're out. We have some little juicy, juicy balls. Cut them in half. Show me egg salad. And then throw them in a bowl with a teaspoon of whole milk. Hmm. Slightly damp eggs. Love it. Now we're gonna have two tablespoons of Kewpie mayo, yes. which I believe is also known colloquially as Japanese mayo. Yeah. And this is strongly endorsed by all recipes is that we go with the Kewpie mayo. I think it's eggier tasting. Got it. And then we're gonna add in some sugar. And finally, we're gonna top it off with some salt and pepper to taste. Do you like a peppery egg salad stuff or do you like a salty egg salad? Peppery. No peppery? No hesitation. No okay. question, peppery. Look at that seasoned pile. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, now that we have all our ingredients in here, we're gonna mix it all together. Mashing up the eggs a little bit as we go. Squelch, squelchy, squelchy, squelchy. It's coming together. I'm here. There's, that, there's that one big, big guy right there. Yeah, when I have my fork on? Yeah. You mean the one I was already mashing? <laughs> That's pretty, you're getting pretty good. Hey, this is, this is really, I'm actually kind of having a hankering right now for some egg salad. Good, yeah, I know, this is like, this is coming together. I'm like, I could go for some egg salad here. I could go for some egg salad. Yeah, it's been a while since I had a good egg salad. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna put this into the fridge for 10 minutes and we're gonna turn our attention to our medium boiled eggs. Yeah, we are. Oh, there it goes. So while that egg salad is cooling, we're gonna get the rest of the sandwich ready, starting with peeling our medium boiled eggs. Oh. And we don't wanna mess this up too bad because these are gonna be those middle money eggs. This is the this is the steaks part. Well, we have two, we just need one. Yes. So one of them needs to turn out well. Right. And there we have it, folks. Mm. An egg. Tyler's is fine also. 
Oh my god, so we have two. So I guess suspense immediately diffused. This is gonna be a static baby. This is this is really this is Gudetama, baby. You know, this is all about cute eggs. Cute eggs. Okay, so now we're gonna cut our eggs long ways. Move that knife. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty sexy. And then we're gonna place one half face down in the middle of our bread. Where? In the middle. Wh which middle? In the in the one middle. <laughs> and then we're gonna get our chilled egg salad and use that to fill in the rest of our sandwich. Grab that egg salad. All right, let's spread this on. I gotta say, this is really coming together. Wow, look at that pile of egg salad. That is making my mouth water. Peppery, salty, eggy. Mayonnaise-y. Sulfurous. What more could a girl ask for? Great. That is a covered egg. medium boiled egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that is our filling done. And now we can close up our sandwich and wrap it tightly in our saran wrap. Boom, beautiful. And we're gonna throw it into the fridge for 20 minutes and then we're gonna eat it. All right, let's see what we got here. Grab it. An egg sandwich. An egg salad sandwich. Okay, let's open this up. Let's get it off its saran wrap. And then once again, we're gonna decrust it. Noise. Yep, goodbye. Cool. Look all at right. that little rectangle. And then slice it in half for all the marbles. Do you need my help? No. You got this, right? I hope so. Hopefully the egg is less grippy than the fruits. Well, I think I've made contact with the chopping block. Beautiful. Shall I split it? Yes. All right, ready. And here we go. Oh, it's cute. Oh, it's cute. Aesthetic egg sandwich. It's kind of like a little sunset or something. It looks good. It's really cute. It's really cute. It's really cute. This one actually also looks a lot like the picture. Yes, it except does. Except for one key ingredient. We need to add chives to it. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> Which we've had sitting on the table this whole time. I know, I keep going to prep the chives. <laughs> time to prep the chives. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna use our fancy herb scissors here to cut our chives for some garnish. Come on, this is fun. I'm having fun. This is fun. Look at those chives. They look good. Everything's coming up chives, baby. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a great part. <laughs> now that is, that is a chived egg salad sandwich. There's, no one can say there's not chives on there. Okay, so sandwich three. Let's taste it. I'm curious how the milk bread will work with the egg salad. Mm. So let's go in here. A little cheers into the face. Ready? I'm gonna make it a little table for the chive. So I'm going in like, like this. Like uh, ah? Yeah, because yeah, you don't wanna lose the chive. Don't wanna lose the chive. Not pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Not pretty good. The milk bread is very sweet. But it, 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 it offsets. It's kind of like a sweet and savory vibe. So it's like a nice little contrast. So mm -hmm. Tell me about it. The chive adds some texture to an otherwise pretty soft sandwich. Dude, the chive is everything. Yeah. It's giving me some crunch. It's giving me some flavor. I like how chives are falling off and then you're grabbing them back and putting them back on. Yeah, that's how much I like the chive. <laughs> this is very good. It's simple but it's good looking and it's tasty. I don't have any more thoughts. Milk bread, good. Yes. Egg, Yeah. very good. Yeah, PG. Chives, enlightened. I love the chives. It's a good day. I'm pretty pleased. Yeah. You wanted celery earlier. This is all you really needed. <laughs> yeah, oh, you know what? Celery would be good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> so that was just very pleasurable. Yeah. I feel overall just like pleased. Yes, all three sandos did end up looking pretty good, although we could probably work on our kiwi placement. Yeah. And in terms of the flavor and the taste, I don't think they underwhelmed at all. My eyes are and were pleased and so is and was my mouth. Exactly. I would recommend these oh, overall. Yeah. Big time. I just wanna know how to make them faster so I can eat them more because they're not that easy. They are kind of hard to make, but that might be part of like the fun. Like you feel a sense of accomplishment at the end for having made something so nice. Right, maybe that's part of what makes them taste so good. It's the exclusivity. Yeah, nailed it. So I would deem this a successful experiment of recreating internet stuff. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked that video, make sure to smash or gently tap that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, you can smash or gently tap that subscribe button. Here are our social media handles and our merch website. And with that, we'll see you guys uh, next time.